Hi, my name is Leah Day, and welcome to this video for Quiltmaker Magazine. I've got another video for you based on the designs I've shared in the July-August 2015 issue of Quiltmaker Magazine. It's all about spirals. We're going to learn three cool spiraling designs. So let's get on the machine and see how it works in free motion. So I'm going to get started with basic spiral. That is just a regular curved spiral design. So I'm going to kind of swirl into an open spiral, come to a point, you know, well, basically just come to the inside of it, and then I'm going to immediately change directions to create that point, and swing around. So that's a nice open spiral. And when I'm talking about an open spiral, it's like it's this style where you, uh, as you work your way inside, you're leaving your space to get right back out again. And in this situation, I didn't stitch right through the middle, but as you can see, it really doesn't matter. Uh, let me try and make one just a little bit better for you here. I'm gonna swing around into a circular shape. As I work my way in, I'm leaving double the amount of space that I want for the spiral. So that means that if I wanna stitch on a fourth of an inch scale, I need to leave a half of an inch between the lines of quilting so that as I work my way back out again, that these lines get broken up into about half of an inch apart. So now I'm going to work my way out right through the middle. And I've got my scale. And it takes a little bit of visual esti estimation to be able to do this. But just really honestly, that just requires practice. Just start, sit down and stitch a whole lot of this you know, basic spiral design and you'll definitely get the hang of swirling in, leaving yourself space and being able to swirl back out again. Right here, I'm going to do a pretty large one. Swing out. Notice that I've increased the speed of my machine. I really want a little bit more speed here as I swing out a little faster. But as I come to that point, if you have trouble getting your points to be really nice and pointy, just stop with your needle in the down position and then really focus as you slowly change that direction and your points will be a lot better pointy. <laughs> As you can see, I am working this design in a row. I'm working from left to right. That's just the direction that feels most natural to me. I really play with it and see if another direction, like let's say right to left, or uh, like this, I'm gonna form a spiral straight down. You know, it really is totally up to you. I do think that figuring out whatever direction works for you is a really good uh, thing to figure out, just simply because then it can apply to all of your quilts. You can know, okay, uh, left to right really feels natural to me. I, I really need to try and have that direction or that angle uh, because it, it's going to flow better. It's going to feel better. I'm going to do one more basic spiral. Again, just keep those curves nice and soft. Swirl back out again. And if I was going to continue with this design, I'd just swirl into a spiral right here. So our next design is called Blazing Spiral, and it is formed by stitching a nice wiggly flame shape. So I'm gonna come in here, come to a point, I swirl back out again, and again, I'm gonna try and leave half the amount of space open as I swirl into this flame shape, and then back out again. So let's try that again. I'm gonna swirl into a large flame shape. This is kind of just a long, pointy leaf shape work my way in, stitching sharp points every time I kind of come to the apex of the ends of that flame. Now I'm going to echo around it and form the next one. You know, this is one of, really one of those things that I, I say, uh, learn a rule, learn a, a basic step, and then wash and repeat. Uh, change something small and you can come up with a whole lot of different designs. So. Once you kind of get the basics of spirals with basic spiral, you know, just how to move, how to swirl inside, uh, really all of this becomes so much easier and it's going to be able to apply to any type of spiraling design. So it doesn't matter really which one you like the best. Uh, as long as you practice it and kind of get the hang of it, you could probably stitch all three once you get the hang of just one of these. So you can see that these nest together a little differently. It's kind of easier to run them right up against one another. And you know, if you kind of got into a mode, you could run them all kind of flat and they would kind of look like wood grain. 
Let me back up so that you can really see all of them together. You know, if you had these all laid out flat, they could end up looking a little bit like um, you know, a wood grain effect on your quilt. Uh, right now I think that's looking like a really beautiful random spirally design. I think that's really beautiful. Okay, so the last design I want to share with you today is called Drunk Spiral. It's exactly what it sounds like. We're going to wiggle around with a wiggly, wobbly shape. It's basically think Drunk Spiral had a really fun light night last night. He had a party, and this is what he looks like the next day. And I'm going to wiggle in and wiggle my way back out, just like this. I'm going to do that again for you here. I'm just wiggling gently back and forth. Now I'm going to start leaving my half inch space as I work my way inside the shape. I'm trying to, it's kind of like feeling like I'm, I'm doing a lot of things at once. I'm both wiggling and spiraling all at the same time. It's, uh, it feels a little distracting, honestly. But I think it has a really cool texture. And it's, you know, it's kind of a funny idea for the design try one more right here. It doesn't have to be a circular shape. It can be more of an oval or, you know, just th kind of think of an amoeba shape. You know, wiggly, wobbly, no real, no real actual shape to it. So there's no right or wrong way to stitch this one, and that's kind of a relief. And if you're feeling like you can't get the circles of basic spiral or this leaf shape of uh, blazing spiral doesn't really work for you, then maybe drunk spiral is the one for you because honestly there's no right or wrong way to stitch that one. Uh, so long as you're leaving yourself space to spiral in and spiral back out, you're going to do fine. So that's it for these three spiraling designs. I really hope that you enjoyed learning how to quilt them with me. If you'd like to read more about them and see the step-by-step -step photos, definitely check out the July-August issue of Quiltmaker Magazine. Until next time, let's go quilt.